After receiving relationship counseling, TJ, Holmes and Amy Robach discuss how they resolve conflicts. Amy Robach and TJ, Holmes are currently collaborating on a project. The couple spoke out on Tuesday's Amy and TJ podcast, revealing that they had recently encountered a problem in their relationship that required them to spend a day apart. We can tell y'all that there has been one night that Robach and I have spent apart that can specifically be blamed and attributed to a fight that we had, Holmes said. Yes, we needed space from each other and I think it did us good, Robach continued. Holmes claimed that a small problem had crept up on them and that we let it fester. Robach revealed without hesitation the precise problem, which was Holmes' sleeping patterns, for me and what sent me over the edge, and we've had this conversation so many times, about your sleeping habits, she said. You prefer to spend time on the couch, avoid going to bed, and begin cooking at midnight, which only irritated me. I said, would you just please let's go to bed. Robach clarified that in addition to their pride, ego, and alcohol consumption, they were emotionally spent and burdened with several responsibilities. Holmes continued, we literally spent a night apart because of that. In addition to working together, they were also preparing to spend time with their families during the holiday season when they got into a fight. Holmes acknowledged that he felt a little ashamed and that the timing of the argument wasn't great. We need to make sure we're okay because family is visiting and we need to put on a good front, was my initial reaction. We need to enter the studio as a team, be positive, and avoid giving the impression that anything is amiss, Holmes said. The couple, whose relationship went public in 2022, revealed that they first didn't think they required relationship counseling. But after their most recent tiff, they thought it was time to get some assistance. Enter America's psychologist, Dr. Jeff Gardier, who assisted them in overcoming the growing pains in their relationship and Holmes's distance building following a fight. According to Robach, following a fight, Holmes puts her in shutdown mode, which involves freezing her out. The former GMA3 anchor admits that even if he doesn't yell, it always makes her feel bad. The two acknowledged that they texted affirmations to each other when it was time to get back in touch. We both told each other that we missed each other and loved each other, Robach said. Holmes continued, Amy's favorite four words are I love you but, and it's what comes after the but that gets us in trouble. Robach was blunt when she said that, instead of shutting her out for a day or two, she would rather have Holmes yell at her when they don't agree. Upon seeing that Holmes' absence appears rather self-serving and passive-aggressive, Dr. Jeff made Holmes acknowledge his regret and his ongoing efforts to address it. I will tell you that I have a very bad habit, said Holmes. I don't open my door to many people. After you burn me once, I'll cut you off and stop interacting with people. I'm not very forgiving, though. The person who caused me the agony I'm experiencing is someone dear to me. I understand that this individual will not be leaving my life. However, I'm still coping with that and attempting to go over my grief in order to show love to the one who hurts me. He continued, it's different, I am a very warm and loving person and when that goes away, I'm sure that doesn't feel good. The owner of this post has either deleted it or set it to private. Robach continued, it's horrible, it's so horrible. I apologize, my love, Holmes said to her.